Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny, and in this lure review, I'll be reviewing one of my craziest, most unique Japanese lures. It is the Zo Top Blade Topwater Lure. Let's check it out. Whoa! There we go! Yeah! Woo! Holy cow, folks! Topwater Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. That right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, Stop Water Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, Stop Water Johnny. I want to welcome you to the next video here. And in this video, I'm doing a lure review of the TH Tackle Zoe top blade right here and this is the lure that i'll be doing this close look and review of so i don't want to waste any time i want to go right to a closer look so what we're going to do is do a closer look of it and then i'll come back and give you my thoughts all right all right here it is the th tackle zo top blade and this lure in itself is three and a half inches long its weight is one ounce and from this side it looks very very simple and conservative but when you turn it around look at that that's where the magic starts to happen it's got a big blade on the actual belly side of it with the treble hooks hanging down from it as well so it's got a treble hook inside of this actual grass skirt right here treble hook right here and a blade right here so that when this actual lure is actually in the water column it's dangling and it's hanging just like this and it's coming into shore actually straight ahead but it's bringing along all of this noise all of this flare so the bass will be able to see the actual tail in the back flickering because that's a pumpkin color and it's got a treble hook hiding inside of the tail treble hook dangling there for closer strikes and then this hook this big blade right here does a thumping noise in the water column so it does a thumping noise of a distressed fish so it's not like an electronic noise but it's a thumping noise that's trying to represent and mimic a distressed fish on top so when the bass look up what they see is actually this portion or in other words they'll see this right here they'll see this portion of the fish but it'll be this side here where the hooks are but this is what they'll see look at that big eye right there so this right here is actually made directly out of a model of a real bluegill right here so this is definitely an incredible looking lure and it's a japanese lure all right okay we're back well what did you think of that everybody i would love to get your thoughts on that particular lure in the comments below would you fish with it what's your thoughts about it because it's definitely a unique lure so i want to give you a little bit of information on it as well it is i actually bought this from the carolina fishing and tackle website so carolina fishing and tackle.com is a site that i actually bought it at the price of the lure was 61 dollars and 60 cent and if you go there looking for it, go in there and look under, you'll go under top water, but then you'll go under specialty. And then that's where you'll actually find this lure and it'll, you know, you'll be able to get all the details on it as well. A while back when I was on their website, I was looking at their different crawlers, lures that crawl from right to left with little wings. And then I saw this lure and I said, wow, that's a really different type of lure right there. So I made the investment and I ended up buying the lure. And I've actually had a chance now to get it out, do some testing on it, and really show you what it looks like in the water and how it moves. So you're gonna watch a video of me testing that lure out, how it moves, how it reacts, and I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with it because when you read the description on this lure, it is really a what they call a blade bait combined with a swim bait. And it's a top water so it really does have a great look to it in the water it definitely i believe will get bit in the right situations and scenarios so i'm just really excited about this lure as i said before 
I want to show it to you here on camera so that you can see it. And as you can see right here, when it is in the water column, this is how it sits and it moves forward. And so it has a lot of action. As you can see, you can hear that noise there, but this big blade right here has a lot of thumping noise when it's in the water. Then it's got two treble hooks, one hidden inside of the grass skirt of it here, and then one a little bit ahead of it. Uh, one thing I notice about it, it doesn't tangle, so these hooks don't actually catch and tangle one another. And this big blade right here doesn't affect the overall action or your hookup, I think your hookup ratio. Every time I was able to cast this out, it was able to come back in untangled, and here's why. The blade is actually where you do your tie-on at. So your tie-on is actually right here within the actual blade itself. So I'm tying on to this piece right here, not on to the actual fish. So that when the line comes down, I'm tying here, and this is what's making this thing move along right here so that the fish itself looks free of everything. So as I reel in, I'm pulling this in, and this actually, this is where the thumping noise is occurring. This is where the attraction occurs, but there's nothing tied to the front of the fish. When the fish are looking up at it, this is what they see right here. And so it looks like a distressed bluegill struggling across the top of the water column. It's a great lure. Now, I haven't caught any fish on it yet, but I really think it's a great lure that has a lot of potential in the right scenario. Love to get your comments. Love to get your thoughts about it. Please comment below. Would you fish with it? What's your thoughts about it? What do you think about it? I always appreciate hearing everybody's thoughts and feedback on it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it out to the lake. We're going to do some testing on it there, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Once again, please like, subscribe to the channel. I thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. And I'll see you at the lake right now. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Tiny here. And we are out at the lake here. And we're doing our review on the So Top Blade right here. So we're going to be doing a little testing on it. It's a Japanese lure as well. And we're going to see what we can do with this one as well. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right. Now as I mentioned, the Zo, this Zo Top Blade is a little bit different because it's actually got a blade on it. So it definitely makes a lot more noise. Uh, got the feathers in the back here with the treble hook hidden in there as well as one that's out as well. And it's going to be in the water kind of like this right here moving along. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. And there's the top water. It sits on top. And we just kind of throw it out there and let it sit till all the rings dissipate. Then we start to bring that one back in. And what I can feel is the blade thumping below it. That's what I can feel. I can feel the blade thumping below it. And then it actually sits there. And what it does appears, let's see here, once you throw it out there, it lands bottom down. And as you can see right here, it's just a bluegill. It looks like a, just a bluegill out there, but when you pull it, it starts to, the blade starts to vibrate. And that's what it's actually doing here. I can see now when I keep my rod tip down, then it thumps along. That's what it does there. Okay. Throw it out there. See it in the deeper border there. And then you keep your rod tip down. And I can feel that thumping. It's just, it looks like a bluegill just struggling to get back to the shoreline here. Okay. Once more time here. Thump, 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 thump. You can feel that. I can hear that. Feel that thumping. And you can see it kind of wiggling along, struggling. Okay. So it, once again, throw it out there. Let the rings dissipate. And what you're trying to do is really mimic that bluegill that's struggling. 
So you want to throw it out there, let it sit for a while, let the rings dissipate from it. Hold, keep the right tip down. You can reel real hard and fast and then stop it and kill it. Let it sit there for a moment. Reel, 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 reel. Stop it. And if there's anything around that, they are going to come up and investigate because they can feel that vibration in the water, that disturbance in the water, that something's wrong on top. And then they'll come up and check that check out that bluegill. Bring it in once more time here. Keep bringing it in. Thump, thump, thump. And you got to kind of keep a steady retrieve on it when you are reeling it. You don't want to get too crazy because you'll, you'll knock it out of position here. Thump, 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 thump. And then it's back here again. Let's see, if I reel too hard, I get it out of position. So I got to stay real relaxed and bring it in gradual. And then I get that clean movement. And I just want to show that to you, everybody once again here. You may never seen this before, but look how realistic that looks as far as the bluegill goes. That looks like that looks like a bluegill right there. It really does look like a dying bluegill. And so that's why I said this is really, really, really impressive right here. Okay. So there you have it. Just wanted to take this one out here as well. Show it off to everybody here. Everybody check out this lure right here the zo uh top blade right here with the blade on the bottom right there so all right nice lure okay everybody's top boy johnny here just want to thank you for watching this video here on the zo uh top blade right here this one right here definitely is another one that is a um, japanese lure that i got from carolina bait and tackle and it's definitely a little bit more expensive as well not a, over a hundred bucks but it's definitely a really on the more higher end price for a topwater lure. And the one thing about this lure that I'm going to tell everybody is that it looks like a bluegill. It moves like a bluegill with that blade on there. I can tell that this really has a lot of potential to really get bit. And uh, I'm excited about this lure because it's a little bit smaller and it looks like a little bluegill struggling. So there's a lot of possibilities of you getting bit on this lure. So I'm really glad that I actually made the investment in this lure here. Now, as always, these kind of lures, you want to keep them out of places they can get tangled up because you did spend quite a bit of money on them. So I'm going to keep it in open water, but more in covered areas, but open water cover so that maybe there's some shade, shadows and leaves hanging over some shadowed areas. And that's where I'm going to fish this at because I think that it really has a lot of potential to get bit and so I'm excited about that so what I wanted to do here was just show everybody once again another one of those expensive Japanese topwater lures that you probably never seen before but now you've actually seen it in action so that you can say you saw it on the topwater Johnny's channel so here's what I would really like for everybody to do please like subscribe to the channel because I'm always trying to grow the channel trying to bring you things that you've never seen before you know, my goal is always to catch fish, but if I can't catch any fish because of whatever reasons or conditions, I still want to bring you some content that's interesting and engaging and fun to watch. So hopefully you enjoyed this one right here, saw something you've never seen before, and that was what it was all about. So once again, please like, subscribe to the channel, and always remember that phrase, keep your line tight, because when they hit that top water lure, it's going to be a big bite. All right.